Hello everyone, it's me again. Um, I actually got another Nendoroid that I was really excited about opening. Um, like this character, at first I was kind of like, eh. Um, but after watching the second and third batch, I, I really started to like him, um, which is really funny because uh, at first I thought I was going to really like one character and then I like the other. Um, and I am talking about none other than Anasui um, from uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean. Um, if you're only used to the English dub, it's Anastasia. Um, they were trying to avoid copyright like most of the, at least most of the stands have to uh, in JoJo. I think Foo Fighters was lucky enough that her nickname in the Japanese was FF or they would call her FF so they could just call her FF and not necessarily have to worry about copyright. Anyways, um, I'm really excited about this and ooh, I actually have, um, don't have it with me, I'm going to have to get it out of the drawer because uh, I put it in the drawer so none of my cats would like get it and play with it because uh, one of my cats has a tendency to find things uh, up here or in my room uh, and um, bring them downstairs and play with them. So I didn't want to get ruined. Um, so I put it in the drawer. So uh, that reminds me I need to get that because it's the, it's a really good um, pre-order pre bonus. Uh, so anyways, here's Anasui in the box. Um, his box, like all the other JoJo boxes, has like the little like nifty designs. Um, the Stone Ocean ones have the butterflies, and of course his color is pink and teal, which I absolutely love, the combination of the two colors. And then you get the like, um, the sound effects or like the ooh, you know, intense um, effects right before the villain. Um, shows themselves and attacks. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, yep, that's how he looks. Um, he is slightly different than some of the other JoJo Nendoroids. He, his design's more, um, or his setup is more like the, um, Joseph Joestar Nendoroid, where it has, like, a se uh, segmented, uh, abdomen joint, um, which... I was kind of, I'm kind of a little, slightly skeptical. Like he looks actually better than what I thought he would in the in the box. Um, and I know why they did it because he does have like signature poses where he kind of like stretches his abdomen out. Um, but with him being more flesh than um, material, uh, it kind of worries me a little bit or worried me a little bit where whether had like a, he has like a dark blue uh, jumpsuit, so it doesn't look as, I wouldn't think it would look as jarring. Um, but anyways, I only, Lord have mercy, I only had one, I have only have room for one more JoJo Nendroid in my JoJo cell. So I'm either going to have to move them somewhere else, or I'm just going to have to be like, okay, only if Koichi or like, some of the other really cool ones from the different um, parts because uh, I don't I don't want to have too many from each part which is kind of weird um, but anyway enough of me rambling um, I'm really excited he actually does come with like a part of his stand um, if you know his stand diver drive or um, what was it called is it Diver Drive or Diver Down? One of them's, di I think it's Diver Down, but they call him Diver Drive in, yes, in the English dub. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and open him and see what he's like. He is fresh out of the box. Uh, as you can tell, the um, blister packaging must have gone through uh, some considerable amount of heat. Um, they do have a tendency to warp a little bit, but that's also why they wrap them in plastic uh, to make sure to prevent the figure from getting damaged from things like this as much as possible. Uh, he, here is the main Nendroid, and his body is uh, like the action form, so he does have joints um, in his legs 
and his arms. Uh, he does not have any elbow joints though, which is kind of a complaint that people have had about the JoJo Nendroids. Because uh, most action uh, Nendroids have like a shoulder joint so you can pull the arm out or you can, you know, kind of, it's easier to move around. Where JoJo Nendroids do not, so they just have the simple peg that, that goes into um, the shoulder socket. Uh, and that's my guess of why he has the two extra arms, uh, because this is, I'm guessing this is for his signature pose, and, uh, that comes way too far into his body, I think, for the other arms, um, to really perform it. I am nervous about the, um, the shoes, though, because... He does have that, like I said before, he does have that abdomen crunch joint uh, right at his chest. Uh, and it's, I I'm just afraid that I'm gonna break one of the feet off. That that was my biggest concern when seeing uh, this Nendroid. Uh, and then here is the parts for a diver down. Um, and of course he has two extra hands. He has a ring that he gives Jolene. Be very careful with that. That is minuscule. <laughs> um, then he has a kind of uh, smirky side glance. And then he has a shouting action face, which we all know that it, if you are familiar with JoJo and Androids, every single one of them has a yelling face. Um, you also have which, you know, is the generic thing, is the, it's the generic stand, um, extra neck joint, and the, um, the stand part. Um, I'm actually going to be using this. I had, um, shuffled some Nendroids around, and I had one of these extra, so I thought it would be cool to put him on that. Um, and here is the bonus, and this is the first time that I'm getting a bonus in the actual Metacost bag. Um, I'm guessing it's because Good Smile US is starting to get them directly from Metacost. Because um, it used to be, like, even with the Nind with the JoJo Nendroids, like, getting it from um, Good Smile Company, even. Like, the even the FF one, it did not come in this bag. It came in the black bag. Um, so, I thought that was a little, um, a little strange but cool at the same time. Um... But here is the piece de resistance. Oh, when he starts transforming as the as the wolf uh, in that particular episode, um, I forgot the stand's name right off hand or the enemy's name. It was one of Dio's sons. Um, but yeah, I thought this was super cool, and I was like, okay, that's worth getting the pre-order bonus because. If I end up deciding to get him after the fact, and and I have to get him without his face, I'm gonna be like kicking myself. So that's why I was like, let me go ahead and uh, get him now. Anyways, I shall be right back, and we're gonna put him in. And here he is in his first post. And let me tell you. He is really cool looking, but very, very dangerous. Like the spikes on his hat, the little spikes on his hair. Um, I just was so nervous that I was gonna like scratch something or hurt myself. Um, I do see that I, and I mean, this is kind of like just nitpicky, but I, I do see where there's certain spots on the lines that are not clean. And there's one speck, like, right there, right near the front. I may just take it and try to, like, um, color match it and just, like, dab a little bit on it just to cover it up. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, but I, I just, like, I, I feel like if I send it, like, if I send them a thing being like, oh, you know... Um, there, there's this paint effect. Like, I just feel like with this kind of design, it's just kind of like a given, unless you're paying like out the butt for a, a scale figure. Um, but anyways, all his joints seem to be real tight except for his waist joint. His waist joint is slightly loose, but not loose enough to where I, I feel like it's going to fall off. 
I am very nervous about the steel uh, when putting him on the base. Like, they gave you, like, this kind of um, monstrosity of, of an arm. And I, I guess I appreciate the fact that they took in consideration his design. Lord have mercy, his head's not even all the way in. Um, when picking out one of the arms, but it was still a pain because his, the only problem I had with the Joseph one, like I absolutely adore the Joseph one, but the only ha problem I had was it's hard to get the peg in the lower back part because the, the way these are designed, the lower back is where you put the, the arm in. So it has a tendency to like come out if you move this joint at all because it kind of nicks it. Um, and then to the, the peg itself for these styles are very shallow. Uh, so I kind of feel like I have to put force on it, but I get scared about putting force on it when I'm putting force on these feet. Um, I, I'm just afraid that I'm going to be putting them in one time and one, this one right here is going to snap, especially this one. I'm really afraid of this one. Um, but he's really cute. Um, I put him with holding the ring first just because I wanted to, to use it. Uh, I would be very careful if you're going to use this pose, um, with like majority of the times, if you're going to use it, you're probably going to use it with Jolene. Um, I would just be careful because there's nothing holding the ring in. So you just kind of have to like put the ring in and make sure he's stable. Cause if there's like enough movement, I just feel like the, the ring could possibly pop off or fly off and, and then it, it's gone. Like if this gets lost, it's gone. There's, there's like no way that you're going to be able to find that. Um, anyways, enough of the rambling. I'm going to go ahead and try to put him in this pose right here because I think that's what the two extra arms are for so I'll be right back okay yeah word to the wise this pose even though it looks cool is a pain in the butt to do <laughs> like the instructions suggested you take the head off and do the body first and then put the head back on but you that it's so hard to do it that way and then this arm this arm took me forever to get in and I swear I'm either going to have problems getting it out or it's it's going to make the other arms loose when I put the default arms back in uh I just feel that coming like it looks really cool don't get me wrong it does look really cool but I would just suggest for those who are getting this in Android if you want to put it in this pose put it in this pose leave it alone um, if you're not wanting to put it in this pose and you're just kind of curious, don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. Um, but like I said, it looks really, really cool. Um, and if all else fails, I can just put him back in this pose. Uh, but, and I'm not going to use the, the yelling face, um, when doing poses for y'all. Um, it's this face. I'm actually going to use, I think I'm going to use the, the other one instead. Um, the uh, transforming into a, a wolf phase face. Um, but yeah, like I said, this looks really cool. But I would advise against it unless you're just, you just absolutely love this pose. Which is a really cool pose. Um, don't get me wrong, but yeah. I, I'm just afraid of the... I'm afraid of breaking things and I did see that these are held in by pegs so hopefully like if they knock them they they come out and then I have noticed that there's like little indentions in his body um, to kind of like help um, make the rest of it movable to where it's not like gonna break as easy but I still I'm still nervous about that but and the waist swivel did kind of get on my nerves because it is kind of really loose um, but like I said, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. It just, it's just kind of really loose for, but if he's going to be standing down, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Anyways, let's get on to the final pose of the day. Now I have to say, I actually really like this pose. Um, it took me a while. Um, I noticed on mine that also this part 
is a little loose, but I think it's just because of the fact that this all is so heavy. Um, Cause it kept on falling over to one side, the, the uh, ab crunch or the, yeah, the torso um, crunch. Um, and then of course this kept sliding all, the, all over the place. Um, but yeah, he's, he's really cute like this. Um, my final thoughts, and I actually really like this. I like this. Um, I did notice that, I don't know if it's just mine, um, but for some reason the faceplate doesn't want to fit into the back hairpiece, um, like securely. Like it's really kind of loose until you put the, the front bang on. Um, would I suggest this Nendroid? Um, for a hardcore JoJo fan, and especially if you like uh, Anasui, I would say definitely go for it. It's aesthetically pleasing. Um, at least in my opinion, it's aesthetically pleasing. There are going to be some um, paint flaws here and there just because of the, the craziness of this character's design. Um, if you're not too big on Anasui and you're just wanting a, a JoJo Nendroid from part um, six, my suggestion would be FF. Thus far, I think FF is the easiest to deal with. And she just, to me, she she's, I, I mean, I might be biased, but I think she's my favorite of like the Stone Ocean Nendroids. Um, because I think with Jolene, she was really the first female. Uh, so there were a couple things with Jolene I was kind of uh, skeptical about. Um, but I feel like they really hit it out of the park with FF. I'm not for sure about Hermes, and I'm kind of tempted to get her. Um, just to have all the th all three of the females. Um, but I ended up getting Anasui because him and Weather came at the same time. And I got Weather for a friend. So I was like, well, let me get Anasui. Um... I think he's cool and I do like the inclusion of uh, diver drive or diver down um, to where you can put him in the base it looks it looks cool to me especially since I got like this like street base um, I think it looks cool um, anyways uh, I'm I'm satisfied with him I'm not ecstatic just because of the difficulty I had with him the entire time. Um, I suggest taking, you like with this Nendroid, with the way his hair and everything is, like you have to almost take off his head and take it, take him fully apart to do anything. Now I will have to admit that the arms did go back in and they weren't loose. So um, I was incorrect on that assumption, uh, but he does have a couple loose joints, but then again, that could just be, I'm getting an, an injury that's made during the summertime. So the heat might've like loosened up some of the joints. So, um, and I do live in a hot and humid climate. So, um, but anyways, I am satisfied with him and I do think I'm going to pose him like this. Um, I did have some paint defects. Like I have one, um, like paint chip on the top of his head that I might say something about, but I really am going to see if I can just fix that right there, um, myself. Um, but anyways, uh, I hope y'all, um, enjoyed this. And if you like this kind of stuff, leave a like, subscribe, um, and maybe tell me what, um, Jojo Nendroid you want to see made next. Like, I know we're getting, they're going back and doing the villains of each part. Like we're getting, um, uh, Kira and we're getting, um, Diablo, I think, yeah, Kira's on pre-order already. And, and the bad thing about that is, it's like, I don't, Kira, I really don't like Kira that much, but I really want the pre-order bonus, the the cat. Um, I really want, I really want him, um, which is funny. Uh, but they have the uh, Diablo already. They have a, a, a prototype of him up. Uh, but he's not yet up on pre-order. Um, but I, I think I really would like them to go back to part five and do a couple more from part five. Um, I also think that they need to finish the the group from part three. Like, I really want an old man jo uh, Joseph. Um, I like the young Joseph, don't get me wrong, and he's one of the best androids I own. But 
I absolutely adore old man Joseph and I need an uh, OMG face <laughs> for him to come with. Um, anyways, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this and I'll see y'all later next time.